Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek and I'm your singular host today, diving back into the exciting world of Twisted Metal, the newest release. Now we're in a new play session today, so it's been a while since I've played, but I'm going to attempt my best to defeat what I could not defeat before, which is the Dual Juggernaut event. That's right, two Juggernauts. Now what's a Juggernaut, you might say? Well, a Juggernaut is a bitch, but... On another note, a Juggernaut is also a large truck, caravan type weapon armed by lots of men with machine guns and stuff, and after a certain amount of time, the tractor trailer opens up and releases a new enemy onto the map, and uh, this happens continuously and infinitely. So the goal is, kill the Juggernaut, then kill everybody else. I mean, that's always the goal in Twisted Metal, no matter what event you're playing, is kill, 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 and kill some more. Just infinite amounts of killing everybody that you, comes into sight. I apologize now while I'm in the loading screen. Um, if you guys hear a fan in the background of my audio, it is smeltering, and I think that's a word, in my apartment today, and... I had the air conditioning on, but it was making a lot of interference in the back of the mic, so I have, like, one fan on, and it's off in, like, the corner of the room, like, pointed at the wall, so you can't, like, hear anything. But I saw it coming up very nominally on the, uh, capture, so I just wanted to make sure that you knew that it wasn't just, like, the ring or some kind of, like, crazy sp spookiness, especially for those who, like, listen with headphones, like with ASMR level headphones, um, you know, and you might hear that in the very back, and it's like, is there someone behind me? Oh gosh. I don't even know if my sound quality is that good where it has, like, leveled sound like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. I remember the last time that I was playing this, the difficulty in this level really wasn't killing the Juggernauts. I kind of had my strategy figured out of, you know, just point, click, and kill. You know, until it's dead. The uh, difficulty of this level really comes in just trying to navigate the level and get to a point where, where you can actually get to what you're supposed to kill. And it's especially nerve-wracking because since this is timed, you know, I want to get things faster and get rid of them quicker. I think that's a Chuggernaut off in the distance. I don't really have 20-20 vision. Oh, wait, okay. So if I go... No, oh, 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 okay. Doesn't look stupid. Uh, uh, okay. Here he comes. Or am I behind him? Oh no, I'm in front of him. Oh no, 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 no. Smash buttons! Oh. Apparently the stick buttons do not count as buttons. And by that I mean like L3 and R3, you know. Uh, I'm playing this on a PlayStation 3. I don't know if I like ever mentioned that. But for anybody who has ever played anything on a PlayStation 3, you know that. R3 and L3 is what we call, like, the, the stick buttons. But in this case, they did not count as buttons, per se. Uh, I'm losing a lot of health. But I really want to get rid of this. I just want to get rid of one of them, because there's, there's two of these guys out here just roaming around. And it's kind of nerve-wracking, because as you might have seen in the previous episodes, you really got to go out of your way to get some, like, health to get the health. Oh, I just passed one. I had to take off my headphones. I'm sweating bullets. Where, where is it? It's like in this little crevice. Okay, so then I can get right back on the road, hopefully. Get right back to where that guy was. He's coming the other way. Oh, smash, smash, smash. Come on. I got a bomb that I can hopefully get on him. Nope, totally missed that one. Oh, I have another one. Yeah, all right. I got one of them. I just have to chase down the other one now and then kill all the other players and... That's going to probably be a little... I'm, I'm thinking I'm at least probably going to get up to 10 opponents by the time that uh, I'm going to need to kill everybody. Oh, wait. It seems that I've only started out with, like, four opponents. So I guess by the time I get to the Juggernaut and kill him, maybe it'll only be, like, eight, and then it'll be just, like, a normal round. But see, that's also, like, the difficulty of it. You're focused on doing this. The other players really don't care that the Juggernaut is doing what he's doing. And I don't know, because if this was an actual, like, competition, like... Twisted Metal once it made out to be and every player is, you know, in it for themselves and their own goals, like, 
why wouldn't they also, you know, be trying to kill the Juggernaut and stopping other opponents from entering the game, thus making, you know, the possibility of winning, like, harder. It's just weird game logic there, but yeah, so, it, you know, they don't, they don't hurt the Juggernaut, they're just hurting me. So I'm taking a lot of damage in the meantime, not only from the Juggernaut, but from the other players. And, um, that's just how it goes down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I'm near that hill where I can go up on the hill and get help. Let me just launch to see if I can get to wherever this health is. Nope, that's like on the corner of 5th and Japip. That's like nowhere land. Alright, let's see if I can get to wherever this health is. Do I want the on ramp or do I want the off ramp? It's, uh, I gotta give them props. It kind of seems like this town is a highway system, but at the same time, it's very difficult to navigate. This is like, this is like Los Angeles level of like highway systems. It's definitely an, oh, 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 could not get to that health quick enough. And I am stuck and I'm already right where I was right before I got to health, basically. And all the meanwhile, the drug notch is fucking trancing around, releasing people, and I'm just running around trying not to die. Oh my gosh, they're like, where, how do I get to the left? Okay. Alright, the Juggernaut released another person. Okay, I'm on the left now. Where did the health go that I was just chasing? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm running, I'm all over the place. I'm everywhere. Oh wait, alright, so there's one up here. This is the one on the hill that I was talking about earlier that I was trying to get back to. And you know, it, it's 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 kind of hard to like, in the new in this new Twisted Metal they made like really big maps. And I think about it, I talked about this last time and... Really? Am I just stuck in a square? I don't want to... Uh, just let me get the little health pack. Okay, in the new Twisted Metal, they made a lot of big maps, and that's good and bad at the same time, because it, like, health is harder to get to, although, you know, they clearly label it, um, where it is, uh, but, you know, in, like, a lot of the older games, and maybe I'll play them eventually, just so you guys, like, know that I'm not bullshitting, like, at how decent I was at these games, like, I had to memorize, like, where they were, and I would have, like, specific routes I would drive around on the maps, kind of just, like, do, like, a circle technique. Oh, jeez, this is not the time for that. <laughs> not the time to have no batteries. I'm chasing down a juggernaut that I don't know where it is. It's got to release a kid in 10 seconds, and I've got to try to get there before... Now, I only not only have to die again before freaking some... Ah! This is the annoying part. I found the juggernaut now, and now I'm going to die again. Okay, I've killed the juggernaut. Now my priority is health. Health really quickly health. Oh gosh, thank god the driver was right there and I could just get him really easily, get a little bit of health there, which will give me enough time to sneak back over somewhere where there's health. I don't think the health that's up the top of this hill that I just got like 10 seconds ago has regenerated yet. Uh, no it hasn't. Although, yeah, I, I know I've been shitting on this game a lot so far, but I will point out that really quickly, in a lot of the older Twisted Metal games, health was like, uh, you got one health pack per level, and I, I mean like, not one, like, just one per level, but, like, there would be many locations, but you would only get it in that one location one time each time you played the level. So, if you used it up, you know, it was used up for the most part. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to get on top of this building, because I know that's where another health is. Alright, I guess I'm going to just kind of drive around, hope that I stumble across health, and try to shoot people as I go. This is definitely not like the other maps where I can kind of just like hang around in one corner and get people from a distance. There's a lot of obstacles in the way that make firing missiles possibly difficult. Okay, I've got more health. I think I've got enough now that I could probably approach a couple people. We only have six to get rid of and... Uh, it's count timer's counting up. I don't think any of these are really timed. There might be a one or two that are like a timed match. But everything, you know, you just have as much time as you need to kill people. Because, I mean, like, yet again, in a real, like, if this was a real contest with, you know, rules, which, I mean, obviously, it's not. Um, gosh. I had to go after the heavies first, didn't I? I have to go after everybody in the same look. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, gosh. If there's anything I don't want to do, it's restart this level from the beginning and have to literally go through everything again. That's underground? 
There's like an under- Oh my gosh! There's literally fire on my tail! Where am I? And how did that happen? Roadboat, leave me the hell alone! Oh my god! <laughs> He's literally holding me so the other people can shoot me and I'm spiking the audio like a motherfucker. I am literally just trying to run for my life and they're getting me up the ass. Which, you know, I mean, that's the, that's the caveat of any kind of car combat game is, you know, if you do turn around for that... Oh, okay. I think if I go... Oh, no, it's not underground. Ah, ah. Oh! Uh, you know, is when you're driving away from somebody and they're chasing you, just kind of like how aerial combat works, you know, they're able to shoot you and you can't really do too much to them. I mean, Mario kind of like fixed that a bit. <gasps> this is exactly what I need. I need to get on this, not miss. Oh, yes! Oh, God, I am probably all over the place with my sentences, but I don't care. I'm back on top. Um, where was I going with all that? Mario Kart fixed it with, you know, being able to fire a turret shell backwards, but unless you're, like, really good at a game and things are predetermined like Mario Kart was on a track, uh, that still becomes, like, a very hard thing to achieve. That's right, you're running away now? Now I'm the guy behind you! How's that feel? Oh, guess what? I have all my specials saved up. I'm just gonna load into you while I got some health. And, yeah, you're gonna die, I think. Um, I had another thought and I completely lost it in all of that madness. Oh, gosh. I hope this is, like, more enjoyable now that I'm, like, focusing on the game to some extent. Alright. Oh, see, I went in there, I had some pretty good health, and I was... I lost a little bit of it, but I was able to get some really good damage. You know, see, that's the thing, you can really turn the tables as long as you just have time to, like, shoot and for the computer to be like, Okay, I'm getting hit, I need to... Evade, I guess? I don't know. I don't attempt to know how... AI bots in games work, I can only kind of guess. No, oh, that health hasn't degenerated. Not that I'm looking for health, but I'm just kind of like, if I find it while I'm going or can come across it pretty quickly, you know, that's pretty helpful at any means, you know. It's always better to have full health than, you know, 99% health. Oh my gosh. There's still six opponents. Hopefully they're all low health and I just need to get them with a couple shots. Cause they're all like hiding. They're all in different parts of the city. I gotta go chase them down. And then even when I get to them, like, they freaking... Oh, I gotta get rid of this motherfucker first. Goddamn road boat. What is road boat? Somebody, has anybody tried to explain that yet? What is a road boat? Okay, so I got distracted there. I was in the heat of the moment. There were several people around me. I was trying to inflict as much damage as possible in the moment. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna chill off for a second, go recoup, get some weapons, get a little bit of health, and then get back into the fire of things. Because um, you know, just as much as they can hide, if I head up into something like this, it is pretty hard for them to follow me up into like these little skyscrapers, you know. Computers aren't really that excellent at navigating tight paths like that, so just kind of use that to my advantage to seek some higher ground, take a few seconds off. There really should be like a health up here. It takes so long to get here, you know, that would be like the, the risk versus reward thing. And I'm right, there's one, but it's like in this building over here that I gotta jump to. Oh gosh, platforming with a car. That's like, oh, whoa, oh, no, it's not in this building. But I'm in another building now on top of a building. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow and see where it goes. Okay, there's a health. Am I gonna get it or am I gonna miss it? Oh god, I'm falling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and there's a the health truck, but it's not open. Not that I really even need it. I've, uh, you know what? Let me go see if I can follow until it's open. I'm gonna get back to full health. Try to hit some guys on the way and just see how all this goes. And I've already lost it. It's somewhere in the massive highway system of this fictional city. Oh, yeah, right at killed outlaw. Oh, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> leave a comment section in the comment section below. Or, <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section below. You'd be a really great coder if you could put a comment section within a comment section. I guess it's like how Tumblr works, but uh, leave a comment in this comment section below if uh, 
is sweating bullets is a term that you guys use. I use it a lot, and I'm not really sure if, like, some people seem to just not really, like, get it. Like, they get what I'm trying to say, but, like, it's not natural. Like, it's not something they hear often. So, it just comes off weird to them. Is it something you guys use? Uh, or what do you use to say that you're sweating a lot? You know, people say, like, they're drenched in sweat, or they smell like a dog. Or, you know, well, you could just smell like a dog and not be sweating. Oh, that guy jumped off the building. I know I keep on comparing this to other Twisted Metal games, but I feel like that's part of the, like, Let's Go Gaming experience is to kind of try to talk about games and somewhat, you know, how games work. Um, so I just wanted to say another little quick tidbit uh, is in other Twisted Metal games, a pretty, pretty good fall damage. Um, or maybe it was just when you fell off the map and it would, like, kind of Mario Kart you back in, like, lift you up by the rope and be like, oh, you fell off the map, stupid. Although I think I also remember like falling off the map and some of them just killed you. So I'm not really sure which one it was. I think it might just be... Didn't the health truck just come through here? What the heck? It, I swear it did. It shenanigans. Oh wait, okay, I see it. It's moving. It's going through the city here. Uh oh. Yeah, there it goes. Totally getting that shit. It's another good reason to get the health truck is I'm pretty sure that uh, computers can use it. So, as long as you're getting it and it's not being used up by computers, that's a pretty good strategy. Um, but yeah, you took I'm pretty sure you took fall damage in some of the other games. Not can't really remember now. I know some of them... Uh, did that guy just die? Yeah, yeah, there's this guy. Oh, mercy bonus! Oh, get fucking... Alright, Robo is my immortal enemy. Like, I will never play as him. And he is the f first guy I'm gonna kill. This kind of like this kind of it's hacks. It's it's so cheating, in so many senses of the word. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Swarm missile! Yeah! Robot's dead. Your concept is lame. Oh gosh, it's taking forever. Two opponents left. Here comes one. Boom! Oh, I missed him. Oh yeah, stay right there. Yes, I killed Roadkill. Boy, man, he fit his name, didn't he? He finally lived up to the Roadkill family name, you know. They weren't quite sure he was the black sheep for a while, but once I stepped into the ring, they kind of knew that their little boy would grow up and finally get Roadkilled. Is that even just like the past tense of being road Roadkill? It's being Roadkilled? But I mean, when you're Roadkill, you've already been killed. So, are we just, have we been saying it wrong, or is there no way you can use the past tense? And how have I even gotten on this topic? Of course, Sweet Tooth is the last one left. OP character, you know, just flying and shooting me. And I can barely get over a railing with my car jump physics. Oh, gosh. Please land so I can just auto-aim this at you. I mean, I can look up and I think I could aim it at him and shoot him. But it's like, that's so OP. He can fly. There's only one other character in the game that can fly. And it's like the helicopter. I don't even think they like try to use the helicopter because that they think that's OP. But having the frickin' like he's not even coming to the ground. And for people who have never played this game before, I mean it's not totally OP. You can't fly all the time, um, but because it runs off of like the turbo energy. Like I don't know if you guys have been noticing. Like you have some turbo speed that you can use. See, yeah, he's just waiting for me to come over. You know, I'm just gonna blast some of the flamethrower while he's up on the up in the. Oh, got him! You're dead, son. He runs off of the, uh, the like the nitros, the nitro energy or whatever you want to call it that you know gives you like momentary speed boost, and it runs on that bar for flight. But he can stay in the transformer mode as long as he wants, and he goes pretty fast. I mean, not like totally faster than other cars can move, so it's not OP in that sense, but it's still pretty. So overpowered. Come on, David Jaffe. We all know you got a boner for Sweet Tooth, but, like, he's the icon of the series. But, you know, everybody is supposed to have their strengths and weaknesses, you know? Like, Sonic was always the fastest one in the group, but, you know, Tails was smart and Knuckles was strong. You know, and I guess some cars in here have, you know, pretty good abilities, but nothing as OP as a flying Transformer... We're all freaking cars that somehow have the suspension to do jumps whenever we want, but 
I don't even know what I'm, what is this, Grindhouse? This is probably a kill-all level. I'll figure it out. I only have so many, episodes, or so many minutes left in this episode, so it's either A, going to go flawlessly, and I'm going to get it done in the next, like, eight minutes max, or I'm just going to crash and burn, and I will have at least seen what this is and, you know, get a good sense for the second time I go around at the beginning of the next episode. Alright, we're back in this town. Now I'm just going to start it up. Skip the cutscene. Might have given me some kind of clue. Alright, I've got eight opponents. Da -da 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 -da. Can't move yet. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, I think it's just a deathmatch. 75% of Twisted Metal is deathmatch. But I mean, like, that's steady game. Boom! Alright. Now i still got some health. I'm just going to run around, get some collectibles and shit. Oh, okay, it's, it's, it's the same town, but it's a different map. It, or different size of the map. I mentioned it, I think, in, like, the second episode, how, like, this game is really good about, like, it can make smaller maps. Oh, okay, it's called Grindhouse, because it's, like, it's supposed to be a small map location purposely, so it, like, forces people to be in constant battle and constant movement. You couldn't really do what, you know, my strategy is, which is just kind of run around, collect things, and not fight for, like, two minutes, or run around until you get the health. Like, you gotta constantly be not only battling, but, you know, flinging weapons and trying to kill the other guys. Stand here for a second. Uh. Oh! Oh, hello, Mr. Roadboat! I'm so glad that you found me, and that you've come along, and I can murder you! Oh, I missed. See, I feel like, alright, so this guy's on a motorcycle, uh, I feel like when I do things, like, if I were to get this bomb on him, which I'm trying to, I kind of lost him. It's not really worth it for the joke, but if I were to get, like, a bomb on him like that, and it blew up, like, I don't care what kind of game physics you're working off of, like, he should die. Like, because there's no, like, protection from the car. I know you could say, like, oh, okay, like, most of these cars, like, people either have their windows down or they're literally sticking out of their windows to, like, shoot and fight. So any kind of bomb on the side of the car would, like, blow it up. Any any bomb on the side of any car should blow a car up. Oh, turn around, turn around. You turn me right around, right around. Um, but, you know, he should death, ah, uh, he should especially be dead. Oh, you see that rope? How long is he blocking me now? He was trying to get the health truck. He was following that. Play that back. I'm not going to play that back, because I don't really... Uh, 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 uh. I'm like, I'm riding on it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he was trying to get it. He's, he's literally, he's, he's, he's reading my mind and he's trying to work my strategies. Roadboat is truly the anti-Derek. You know. Oh, gosh. Come on. Junkyard dog. Ugh. Oh, gosh. Fired a little too early and I wasted my special. That's all. I, I have a tricky hat. A trigger happy. A tricky a trigger happy finger and you know I think that's one of the things that I um, makes me not really good at this game sometimes is I waste a lot of specials and I'm not really tactical about when I fire things as I should be like making sure that every missile like lands like I pretty much kinda just fling them around and spray and pray a lot of the time oh gosh this is not going anywhere fast, but I'm at least not, I'm not doing bad. It's just taking a while because it's kind of, you know, run around, collect some stuff, go do a few damage points, maybe, maybe not, maybe not hit them at all, like I've pretty much been doing. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get up to this roof and get some of the things up here, like, yeah, that sniper do somebody in pretty good. I wanted to also try to quickly get rid of this thing. How do I get rid of- oh, there we go. That way, I can come and get this whenever I want. I can regenerate. There's also one in here, which I don't think was in here before, but I think for the grindhouse, they might have added, like, an extra health location, because obviously, it's a little bit more difficult now to uh, maintain good health in such a small area. Hello, Mr. OP. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Somebody napalm me. So there's fire damage, but not 
you know, I have a, I have a flamethrower, and I don't give that much fire damage. Like, I don't give lasting, uh, like, a damage effect, like, uh, what's it? It's not damage effect, it's not area of effect. Can't really remember what it's called. Help me out, guys. Write it in the comment section. Along with that other thing. Sweating bullets. Which I still am. Not only because it's hot in this apartment, but this game is just that interesting and that 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 on the edge of your seat sometimes when I'm running for health like I have been. It definitely gets to that point where I'm just like I'm getting nervous for myself and my character. Cause these levels are a bitch to repeat when you don't really get them the first time around. Cause you see, I'm already like I've probably been playing this level for about like six minutes. You know, if it takes me like, what is he doing? What is going on? I like couldn't move. I didn't know that he could do that. Um, <laughs> sweet tooth's flying. Um, yeah, so if you don't really get these like the uh, first time around, it's like you know you've wasted 20 minutes. And uh, that's probably my biggest grievance about this game. If I was, gosh, he knew that I was going for it. And he's fucking me over. Road boat. Goddamn road boat. This motherfucker! And now someone's firing fucking like frickin' predator missiles. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead! Die! Get rid of one of these guys at least! I feel like I've I fired enough missiles and the other people fired enough missiles that somebody should be dead by now. Ah, roadkill, alright. Living up to the family name. Uh that's actually a really deep comment. I didn't realize I was making it. It's a joke, you know, saying like it lives up to the family name. But uh, for those who might know the lore of Twisted Metal and who uh, was like the original Roadkill and you know all of what that turned into, um, yeah, quite a quite actually has the ability to live up to a family. Not for dying. I mean, I don't think anybody die or lives up to a family name by dying. Except Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump when he's like, I have to die in the war. Um, but not, you know, not roadkill. He would live up to the family name if he was a psychopath. Which, I mean, if you're in this contest, let's face it, you know, you're not the most mentally stable person. Oh, you get away with me from that shit. What does he even do? It just, like, it just, it crashes, he crashes into me? Does it do any damage? I had to watch it in the playback and see if that actually does damage when he just catches me or... If it's just oh I hit myself with my own thing there. Oh I'm gonna turn around. Uh I can't see whoever's firing at me. Ugh. The flamethrower's really good. I think I talked about how I like I picked this guy because the flamethrower does a lot of damage if you can get somebody, and it's really hard to turn around sometimes because you gotta really be facing them to to actually have it like lock on and do the damage. And if you can get them like the whole, like, I think it's like five seconds that it runs, like, you know, you could do at least half a bar's worth of health. It's like that good of a weapon, but you just, you only hold on to them for like a second. You know, like, it just snaps off so easily. Oh! I don't even think I was hitting him with the flamethrower, I was hitting the taxi that he was pulling. I guess that counts as damage? I mean, why would that happen and he not be like, drop the taxi! <laughs> it's not helping! Uh, I'm not really sure. I think there's health bars on people. Oh. <laughs> I just killed that guy by running into him. What the fuck? Oh, uh, I mean, that it, you do damage by running into people. Very, very small amounts of damage. But that's, that's, that was fun. That was an enjoyable ass. Alright. Oh, I actually thought I was yellow health. Alright. Got some weapons. Got to find some people to sh Shoot him at. <laughs> you son of a bitch! You rode my boat! Road boat! Road boat's just gonna become my version of Roundhouse. Or what is it? No, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Though I don't know if I'd use it in the same context. I probably, if like something was going bad, I'd just go road. Road boat's behind it. Reaper. Oh, can I kill him the way that I wanted to kill him? Uh, no, I think that was on the ground, not on him. 
Da, 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 da. Woo! Uh, stop. It's Homan missiles, or there's three left. Should only take like two more minutes. I actually did not think I was gonna get it this episode. I've kind of impressed myself that I, you know, especially because I, I came back for like probably a whole week from playing the first session to this session, and I was like absolutely sure I was gonna fail the Juggernaut thing the first time around. Like, I was actually like weighing whether or not I should like play it off screen, but I was like, you know what? I want it to be like a genuine experience of me rediscovering this game after a couple of years. Um, so I was like, all right, I'll just jump into it, and like the least I can do is just, you know, secretly delete an episode, which I would never do. Never. Totally never. Except it probably has already happened. Not in this series, though. Oh, wow. See the last one? Is there somebody else around here? Maybe there's somebody else around here. Yeah, because it would have said you won immediately. Twisted Metal Black it took like uh, it took like three seconds to like realize like there was nobody left on the field. Wow, everybody had one hit point left. <laughs> Just had to go around and fire a few rockets. But yeah, it would take three seconds to notice like everybody had died. So you'd be like sitting there. It's like, am I left? Am I? <laughs> am I the only one left? Where is he? Why can't I see them? <laughs> Oh gosh, I've gone long on this episode, uh, so I'm definitely going to start signing off here. Um, you know, that's all. That's definitely all the time we have today. I, that's all the time and then some. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, no matter what that is, or Let's Go Gaming. If Let's Go Vlog has come out yet, you know, check that out. Check out some of the dual playthroughs. The, uh, you know, me and Nick or me and Maddie, those are really fun. Um, I'm going to stop talking now. And ended on this note, uh, Electric Rage Thrills and Spills Park is next, and you will definitely not be disappointed. That is, like, the coolest map. Uh, so that's all for today, and, and bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.